Hello guys, welcome to a live commentary of two newbies going against each other one versus one. Uh, these guys are from the Noobs of Assault Squad Steam group. I'll post a link in the description, comments section, and uh, if you want to join, please do. And they organize games between new players. And I'm doing this video just to cast and show all the mistakes new players make, I guess. And that way, you new players can learn from it uh, by seeing a similar player of a similar skill set. So, you veterans might not want to watch this. But anyway, here we go. We see this General Dog's body guy. He spawned infantry quite fast, which is pretty good. That's what you should do straight away, getting a squad. But a uh, miss of a split there. For some reason, he didn't move his other guys there. Uh, really, a bit slow to get to his spawn flag there, because right now, yeah, he could just send maybe one guy there, because the enemy spawning over here. You better have to know where the enemy spawns, basically, because here you can just send one guy, and the other two can go down here to basically give you more chance of winning this shootout in the center. So the other guy seems like he knows what he's doing, too. Coming to the center quite quick. Nice grenade here by Mr. General Dog's buddy. Up against uh, Bramall. So two new players not afraid of showing their new player skills here and doing you guys a favor by doing so. So first mistake is obviously sending too many guys at one location here should be sending one guy just the cap and the rest down to the center and he's got a uh, interesting buy two shotgunners and what's this an mg interesting buy there wouldn't can't really fault that but i'll definitely prefer a full assault quad but that's not too bad two shotgunners can do a bit of worth here especially in this urban environment sending it to the center where it needs to be also missing flags this is one thing you players do quite a lot especially in team games they miss the spawn flag so basically go to their front flag and they just need one guy here, just put one rifleman or something, one cheap unit to just cap it because it, every little point counts basically. So points are now ticking towards uh, nobody because he didn't cap this flag here and he still hasn't noticed that. Uh, in the heat of the game you don't notice some things but shotgun out in an awkward position there, can't really see much as you can see. Um, needs to be in a position where he can shoot all around. Maybe get straight down to the centre behind a bag here where he can stop units charging in. But in a shootout, I guess the MG's... Let's see, where did he put his MG, positioning-wise? Not too sure. But quite slow to buy the second squad here, but buying a shotgun again. Okay, interesting. So, um, this is actually pretty much what people did uh, before um, the latest patch that nerfed the shotgunners. I wouldn't actually be spamming this many shotgunners these days, maybe one or two, but um, it's decent to have one or two, but not spamming them. I think they're quite expensive. And now uh, this is a good play here by Bramwell, actually pressuring the other flag. Dog's body could also try pressure this area too, if he if he had the micro to do so. And capping this area with the shotgunners, these are actually very high valued targets of units you want to be using and making efficient use out of. You want to put a rifleman to cap the flag, not two shotgunners. These shotgunners should be either here, stopping this assault, ramming down the center. So you just got a few guys in awkward positions where they can't actually shoot. They need very good clear field, uh, uh, line, field, sorry, <laughs> field of fire to shoot around. And his MGs are also um, quite, Oh, that's another shotgunner. So shotgunner is a bit too far back. Shotgunner should actually be in the front line, f in front of your rifleman and SMGs as well, because their range is only 40 when your SMG and rifles can shoot further. So these guys aren't going to get action at all. So shotgunner usage, a decent buy, but a bit too many, plus um, not sending him to the front. So here, not noticing this. This is crucial. Oh, no, that's good. Can take this guy out. Nicely played there. And what did he buy here? Let's have a look. I can't even see. What was that? Ah, oh, bought an MG. Okay. <clears throat> this MG buy is very situational. I would never buy this actually in the start game at all. Because it can get countered by everything the enemy can field. Basically, anything can run it over and it can't do anything. This can't actually kill um, a light vehicle. It only kills infantry. And the thing is, it doesn't actually kill infantry well. It can hold a point um, like this. But if you bring it to somewhere here where there's infantry behind cover, it can't actually kill units behind cover. It's good at pinning down and stopping uh, assaults. So this is okay, I guess, to hold this flag of infantry, but if a light, an armored vehicle comes by, and it can run it over and kill everything, and he won't have any money to counter it. But here, this is a better buy here. Should have got this one first. He didn't actually really need that one because uh, you just need this one, but where's he sending it? Um, also, this map's very careful, especially this one too. So he hasn't kept this flag still, so this is a big mistake there. Uh, with this AA gun here, it's going to be quite hard to come inside in this tramway, as you can see. There's actually nowhere to, to come in. It's going to struggle here. Ooh, nice one, Rebramel. Actually, in 
uh, investing here, coming behind the lines. Definitely something uh, he should consider. It's not looking good here. It's going to push him right to the right from him. He didn't actually see that. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Oh, no. Is this going to walk right into it? This guy's on hold fire. This is uh, the standoff. Is this going to stand and watch him go in? He's going to give way. He's going to give way. It Basically, the right gives way to the to the AA. Um, <laughs> this is the standoff of the century. Just, uh, hello there. Nice to see you. Here, have my ass. Look at my ass. It's looking very sexy, my German ass. And uh, <laughs> he responds, why does he fire? Uh, nevertheless, he did the job. I think that Maxim A could have been direct control. Maybe it was glitched. So you could probably press E to de direct control and then kill that yeah, unit to get in. But it's really hard to get in tramway. If you know your maps, it's really hard to get in here. You can't get in there without direct controlling. But this is a good position now to just, you can come down here with the support of infantry. So I'm seeing a bit of a slowdown here. It's, um, there hasn't been any buys whatsoever um, for a long time. You really need to keep buying infantry, keep pressuring. If you have, I guess, the speed, you'll be onto this point now. So I'm not too sure. He, I know he's quite old, so he, his fingers aren't as what they used to be, but definitely should be buying more infantry and attacking more. I see you bought an M3 there. Um, this is a bit strange. You don't really want to... I guess it protects it from light vehicles, but at this stage of the game, this is already middle game. Middle game, the enemy can buy a Panzer. So he bought a Lux, okay. He could have bought a Panzer three or something and could have taken everything out of the field, such as this, this. But he's got a Luke for some reason. Uh, with the, the start of the game as well, he's got so many lower tier units, such as this one. This one can actually kill uh, light vehicles as well. This one can kill light vehicles as well too, uh, but at further range. Um, so a lot of units that do similar things, and they're of the same tire. So really one unit can counter them all. If I, I was playing the other team, I'll have a Panzer three. I can kill that, I can kill that, I can kill that without risk to myself very easily. So I think there's too many uh, types of these units out. Maybe one will do. I'd say the Maxim AA is the safer one because it can kill infantry good and can kill our uh, units, but it's in a very bad position right now. Should be either down here where it can pressure this area here or direct controlled and move. Sometimes the pathfinding is weird. So you have to direct control into here and then come into here it's really good at shooting things behind cover, so you can pressure the center and stop them from capping the flag. So it, it tends to be quite stagnant in new play games, I find, once someone holds the position. See, there's no, no real attack here by the enemy here. Bramel is doing okay with the... He bought the right unit to counter, but he could just maybe come a bit more down here, uh, closer, and get infantry up. He, all he needs to do is send one infantry down here. And the Lukes will start firing at anything that fires at it. And you can see there's nothing here. Bram Bramwell could just waltz in and capture that. But here comes the shotgun to support. Uh, but that Luke can quite easily take it out if it was in a better position. Maybe here. Right now I can only fire here and just right there because of that wall blocking. The positions aren't too great. It needs to be here where I can fire all around and get the center. Um, right now the M3... He's really putting emphasis on defense here when there hasn't been much attack. Oh, interesting. There, there is actually been an attack. What's going on there? It's been decrewed. It should definitely man that straight away. This is a high priority unit you want to man. Uh, back here, who's got a M1 gun. So a lot of defensive weapons here. Um, it's good for... I guess this map is good for shooting down a lane, but there's nothing to shoot at so far. If I was Dog's Body, I'd bring this uh, down here with the Maxim 50... Oh, it's over here. Okay. So I don't think it has good line of sight, but I think he hasn't noticed that he can probably direct control and move into here. Um, definitely lacking infantry. As you see, I, I find this a lot with the new players. You can see on the map here, top left, uh, there's no infantry at all. There's one dot there, one dot there, there, there. Pretty much the infantry tapers out. The start game, they buy infantry, and they don't buy it again. So they limit their options. They can't do much, basically, after this. So this is not going to do much um, without infantry. Uh, I know his target, I know he has to kill this first though, before he can send infantry down to the center, but he definitely needs um, infantry to start going to places and getting ready for an assault, and getting ready to attack that. So that looks doing a good job coming in this area here where it can't get taken out, but the M1 should probably start going here, even come down with a full squad down here to bait that Luke to come out to kill the squad, and then the AT gun can take out that unit there. So a bit of a combination. Uh, infantry coming down here, lucky for the Luke it's going somewhere else. The looks, I mean, and uh, they may turn out okay though because he's got an AT gun there. So it's pretty slow here. So there's only one guy here, 
and one guy there. Really, you don't need any big guns to take this out. He can just run the whole squad. Just double right click. You don't have to. You don't have to um, play. I don't know. Play sneaky sneakies. There's only two guys. Just run in there. Oh, there's an MG there actually. Oh, look at that. Cover getting destroyed. So I guess he's. I've done a pretty decent job actually sneaking down this way with the MG only being able to shoot down here. But here comes the Luke's coming down here. He needs to have some sort of counter to bait it. So the Luke's coming down. Good response to come down here to support. It's going to be quite hard. I think General Dog's buddy was going to struggle to capture this area here. Mainly because that Luke is ready to support and there's MGs around here. What he needs is an infantry killer in this area, which is this. So he needs to bring it into there with direct control. If he can't, sink, running infantry down here won't do any good. Um, I would probably, if I was Doug's buddy, if I don't want to put that in there or can't get anything into there, I would just get infantry down here, this point here. Send infantry all up here. Maybe put this AD gun a bit further back because it's too close. Uh, to, it can be spotted by infantry over here and it'll get grenaded. And also that Luke will see it so it won't come down here. If you put it all the way back here, the Luke will come down and it can shoot it. So it needs to uh, pressure this one there because this one's actually going to be too hard to take with just infantry. Uh, unless you can... I probably won't have trouble, but if, if you're... If it's an evenly skilled match, um, you don't want to out micro him. Infantry down this lane is, is suicide without any support. He needs this to be closer or get a half track down here once this is down. But this is the key thing he has to take down first before he can start buying a half track to come down here. Um, so interesting slow movements here. 21 to 5 here. This is actually taking a very long time. It's 11 minutes in the game. Uh, Bramwell here capping with the sneaky, which is good. But good, good move here by Doug's body. Um, definitely needs to come down this way. If you have a point that you can't assault, like the center here, definitely try another point. As, as you can see, it's very... What the? Where's he going? So sending some guys over here. Should start capping this flag, maybe. Sending more infantry. So see, see, there's not enough infantry on the field. He needs a full squad here, and maybe a full squad down the middle. And also, same for Bramall. He could just waltz the infantry straight down here. Just not enough not infantry. There's actually nothing here protecting the flag for uh, Bramwell to just come down here and just swarm infantry. So both players not having enough infantry still, I think. MG in a good position though, stopping him and capping. He could sh really should start capping the flag. Yes, he is now. And make it hold fire for one because these guys keep firing and he's going to just lose in the shootout and die. So he needs to hold fire so he doesn't get shot and capture the flag. So unfortunately that, he didn't hold fire on that one. Definitely needed to hold fire there to capture it because he didn't have the superiority of fire to actually win that and he, every little point counts guys so 21 to 11 that Luke is finally coming but it's granted to this definitely needed to have infantry come down first if I was um, Bramble my well, Bramble did have a guy there just didn't see that he should have just swarmed down a bit further but oh it got turret to damage didn't get killed so it can take out the MG uh, really um both players just lacking infantry movements. There's a full squad here doing nothing. There's no efficiency. You should just run down. This is a clear weak point at this stage of the game. There's only one MG there. One full squad can easily outshoot them and make him cower. When he cowers, walk up with the infantry, throw a grenade, and you've got him. And you've got the point. And then basically got this M3 gun, ooh, which is not in a good position. This is dangerous. It's not going to be able to fire automatically behind this. It needs to be right here where you can shoot all the way down here. It's going to struggle. It's going to only shoot down here and maybe down here. So this car is definitely blocking it. Definitely blocking it. Um, so coming down center, which is going to be quite hard for Dog's Body to do unless he outplays. You have to really be fast and be able to micro grenades, come in here, swarm. I don't think he can do that. So you really need to use something else, like use your counters. Your counters such as a 50 cal. See, the Luke's down. So what you can do is buy a half track. He's got the 50 cal, just run in there and use the support to take it out. But ideally, he can use that uh, Maxim. But the Maxim moving here, which is a good position too, good play here. He's got two things. This is actually a good combo here, having an AT gun and a Maxim. The problem is the Maxim needs to be in the front, the AT gun needs to be in the back. Because this is short range, kills infantry. This is long range and kills tanks from afar or tank light vehicles. So he definitely needs to move that a bit to better position. And really sneaky cap this. You can just run one guy, hold fire, 
move there, cap the flag, he's got the flag, that's it. And then it's forcing uh, Brummel to make the next move to attack him. And center here is just being held by a few MGs here, which uh, this can be countered by some sort of thing. You could buy a sniper even too. For newer players, it's probably easy to just get a sniper, put it here, um, hold direct control, hover over the area, then it'll automatically start targeting those people behind the sandbags. And it's probably the thing he has to do. So Brummel's doing a good job doing a sneaky cap here, and 50 cows doing a good job too. But definitely, in this position here, you just don't want to just shoot randomly with DC. You just send one infantry guy, let it get shot, and let this thing shoot automatically. You don't have to sneak. This is really s slow here. Because uh, what I find, the longer longer you wait to do things, the longer the enemy has time to buy a counter. So at this stage, he probably has money for a H soon to kill everything here. So right now, it's pretty useless doing that. Just send infantry up. Infantry can be expended. One infantry guy is expendable. And that will basically provide line of sight for everything. And that wouldn't have happened too. Look at that. That's just um, nice by Bremel. But not enough infantry. Infantry has to be in the front. In placements at the back. AT gun even further back. Uh, that's just a placement problem there. Uh, it's, um, Dog's Buddy is struggling to capture an assault. Uh, fine, new players do okay in defense, but assaulting a flag is quite a challenge for them. Um, I think the problem is just mainly infantry, it seems, in this game. Not sending them in the front first, and not sending them in mass, and being so cautious with them. And direct controlling that there, I can see. That's a pretty good feature to cast, actually, knowing when someone's direct controlling. I'm uh, not really needed to do that though. <laughs> it won't be able to do anything behind cover. But here comes another squad. Definitely needs to protect this. Um, it's just a assault squad. And all these guys, you see all these guys here. They've been sitting here the whole game doing nothing. And there's no reason for Brummel to really attack this. He could if he wanted to come down here. But I don't think he will. So maybe even half of the guys here can go somewhere else and be efficient. So sending half of them to here as well. He had a perfect opportunity before with that 50 cal to really hold this area. But now Brummel's gone to position over here and cover. What Doug's body needs to take this is either numbers of infantry or getting some sort of infantry killer again, like that Maxim. So something like this. Something like this. And what this does is also bait a tank to counter. So the tank will have to kill this, but then you've got this AT gun to counter that. But it's not in a good position. Um, can't really say much now. Just wait for it to happen. But ooh, what's going on here? A sneaky cap by that rifleman. Nice one there. Definitely a good move by Mr. Jog's buddy. Um, back here, he's got uh, another squad, an assault squad. So, been taken out though by a grenade. So, he's, he's, he's not he's not going to really convincingly get this flag at the moment with the units he has on the field. Just more infantry coming up. Not sure what he's going with those ones down this area. 36 to 21, ticking up slowly here. Uh, I'm not sure what else to say right now, but uh, maybe you could try on this point again, because yet again, this point is very locked down without an infantry killer. Yet again, by a counter. That. That. Mortar. Sniper. At this stage of the game, um, both of these players would have lots of money because I haven't seen anyone buying much. In, in usual, usually in I guess high high tier games, you'll find people playing a lot of infantry because they lose a lot of infantry, but because they move a lot, assault a lot, make efficient use of troops. In this type of game, it's very static, and you don't lose a lot of men, and because of that, you can buy a lot more. So it's a different kind of game to play. So right now, if I'm in this situation, I'll play totally different to what I usually play. But most of the time, I don't get into this situation in the first place um, because I'll be making efficient use of my troops and uh, pretty much losing a lot of men instead of camping. But uh, if you get into this situation, I suppose, where the game gets a bit stale, you have a bit of money, yeah, definitely get one of these light vehicle counters or something like a mortar sniper. Um, try to take out the units behind the cover over here and force the enemy to buy something to counter that, and then you can counter it too. So no one's really buying it, so he's got the mortar, okay. Uh, mortar, I wouldn't buy myself, but because I, I think I can use grenades and infantry 
too much better effect because that's pretty much three assault squads i prefer three assault squads than that but if you find it really hard to take out a few mgs behind here supposedly mortar is fine this is actually a decent buy for general dog's body now uh, what he can do is um, click on the attack and uh, attack round and uh, take out the area basically so Um, so DCing it, I wouldn't be DCing it actually. Oh, this is the perfect mortar target actually. This is the priority now. What he needs to do is uh, hit, click the attack, attack ground button, and go for that flak right now. Because so he can't take it out. And thing is with this this unit, it takes a long time to take infantry out and to draw them out. It's going to take a very long time. Um, I would definitely prefer a half track for decal, but he does get that. Definitely should keep start panning away still. I think he's getting a bit closer, which is good. Um, just really slow at the moment. Very static um, play. Infantry composition though, decent composition. They've got quite a lot of infantry, but they're just not doing much. Really, you, um, I guess from looking at this game, it seems like they're scared to lose even one guy. One infantryman like this, it's all about efficiency. Um, you, it's expendable. Click on him. Double right click down here. You have full line of sight of his, his troops that are firing him. Then start firing away. That's pretty much it. Lose one infantryman. Doesn't matter. Just one guy. You're not, you're not like going to send the entire army of infantry down here. Send one guy there just to scout. Because right now you can't see anything. And you're not firing at anything right now. Um, so that 80 gun just was... See, this is like another... This is an example of uh, setting a tank by itself or in placement. Basically, you need infantry uh, everywhere before you go into it because you can't see. They're the eyes. You'd be spreading them out everywhere. So he's got a lot of troops here being inefficient, um, like this one there. He doesn't need to really defend this area. So stolen 80 gun Brammel here. Brummel, 4721. Uh, coming up, he can definitely um, start grenading it. He could just run in there, I think, because I don't think Brummel has a infantry. If I was uh, Dog's Buddy, I'd just run straight in there, throw a grenade, take it back, or destroy it. So he's going to do that now. Yep, he is. That's the way to do it. Ooh, but here comes reinforcements. So I think Brummel's got it. So at this stage, I can see a lot of troops over here. I'll definitely try to kill it, which he's going to try. Ooh, look at that guy fly. <laughs> Broken bones. He might try to take it back. Shotgunner? Is that a shotgunner? Yep. Machine gunner. Ooh, dangerous here. Assault squad leader behind cover. I'll definitely be trying to take this out because I don't think uh, he can take it back. See, really not much... See, this This is efficiency. Look at all these troops here doing nothing. Just standing around here. Think of the possibilities, uh, new players, on what they could be doing. They could be over here doing a lot more things. There's a 2 to 2 here. Uh, now it's time for a counter, for sure. And it, two to two is going to be countered by a lot of things, really. Uh, I'd say probably the best one, Maxim, because you can take out this and take out all the infantry. And this, no, this won't do anything. This will just basically tickle it. This can only take out infantry that is not behind cover. I don't recommend this buy most of the time. And unfortunately, he runs it straight into there without infantry again. Um, either way, if there was a two to two there, he shouldn't have done that as well because he needed to put infantry first and then put that back these things stay back infantry is always in front of everything basically um, some water here if I was Bramble I'll just run down it because I know he hasn't got a counter he just lost his guy I'll just run come down here run over that mortar with that 222 just drive here run it over take it out <laughs> and then goodbye Mr. Dog's body but it doesn't need to because the mortar has killed itself its arc was unfortunately too uh Put it over here, maybe. <laughs> oh well, bad luck to General Dog's body and a bit of an embarrassing moment there for him, I'm, I'm guessing. But he managed to get the center with the sneaky cap. I'm guessing the mortar scared him away, but really, wow. Thing is, with this composition, there's got a flak and a mortar. Really, you don't need two because there's really one unit that can take out infantry, which is the flak, which is the best one. Mortar is very slow at doing anything. As you can see, that mortar. What did it kill? Actually, it didn't kill one thing. Um, it been, it's been firing for a while. It didn't kill one thing. It decrewed maybe... Oh, it killed probably a few infantry and decrewed the thing, but that's it for 350 MP. You'll have to kill three whole entire squads to make it effective. 
So this thing um, takes a while to make its money back and you yeah, better keep firing non-stop to make its money back as quick as possible basically. So you can see why it's not very good and this mortar here probably is not going to make its money worth either. This flak is though and it has been going to deny this area here entirely. No infantry can come down. But a bit strange here why... Uh, sorry, Brummel, Brummel is uh, capping this area. <laughs> nice toe there by Bramwell, towing that AT gun away. Uh, at this stage here, okay, what follows Gen General Dog's body shoes? General Dog's body seems like Brummel has overinvested in um, anti infantry things. So he's got 222, he's got a flak, mortar, or anti infantry. So if he gets a tank, he can kill them all. Just mine the AT gun here. So just make sure you don't go around where the AT gun is around here. Buy a tank, buy a croc. Come down here, kill that, kill that, flame everything. That's it. So you just got to know what counters what. And he did buy a tank. This is what he needs to do. But he should not go down here because the anti-tank gun is there. He wants to go straight down here, take out that flak. Uh, oh, nice shot through that. I was DC through that. AP shot. Needs to HE shot that. Take it out. But he's got lots of infantry on the map over here, but it needs some infantry over here. If if I was playing the other guy, this guy tank would have been dead right now because there'll be infantry all over the place, all over here, uh, killing him. He's got to have line of sight all around because any sneaky guys could have come here. And another mortar? Hmm. Interesting. See, this is dangerous. He is coming here without infantry. No infantry, line of sight. Infantry gives you line of sight. Tanks have very minimal. So, grenade here. Any infantry could have been here. And he's waltzing into the AT gun. No, the AT gun is here. Oh no, just a bit of awareness issues there. Um, definitely remember that he took the AT gun, moved it here, and. Uh, yeah, definitely was not the area he wanted to go to. Um, so over here we have uh, M12 Greyhound, okay. Mm, dangerous buy. Thing is, because there's 20 millimeters in the field. Remember the Greyhound tutorial, if you look at it? Uh, facing 20 millimeters is pretty risky. It's very risky. Look, 16, 10, 10, 10, 10. One 20 millimeter shot from maximum range could potentially kill it, especially on the side. If that flak was firing, would have taken it out. Now this flak and this will fire. Sorry, this 20 millimeter. Sorry, unfortunately, it's got a bad gun too, so it won't be able to penetrate through here. Here, a king tiger would <laughs> penetrate. Will be able to penetrate through these three walls and buildings, but this one might. It's angled funny though, so it may not be able to do it. Uh, not the right buy, but mortar here shooting at the right target now, which is that M1. So a bit of uh, lots of buy errors here and infantry errors at the start and definitely um, not putting infantry in front of emplacements and vehicles. That's what I've noticed the most so far. But anyway, guys, um, uh, sorry about this, but um, I do. Oh, nice one there. So you really shouldn't have stayed there. Low armor. Definitely should have been reversing out of there. <coughs> it's one of these vehicles you want to basically hide away and that can't be repaired because it's flaming. Um, hide away and come out for an ambush or a flank. Not something you want to send straight into the fray, especially in a map like this. So now 222 can just run this over right now, which I think it's doing. No, it's just gonna... So Bremer's doing the right thing. Uh, Doug's body hasn't got a counter for that 222. Oh no, it's not gonna run it over. We can't see it. No, it can't. It's gonna decrew it. Some players don't know you can run it over. You can run it over with any light vehicle, really. Can't see it. See, no infantry. Really, no infantry around to line of sight. No counters. M3 turning around a bit late, unfortunately. It runs into the wall. 74, 21. I'll stick around, I guess, to the end, because it's pretty much almost the end, I guess. M3 gets a shot. <laughs> Awkward play there. Mortar could have definitely run over. So, bit of uh, blunders here. Lots of blunders with tanks. <coughs> he has a decent amount of infantry now. So, at one stage of the game, he was lacking infantry, but now he's definitely lacking on something that can take out infantry and kill things. But nice sneaky cap. He's doing a good job sneaky capping here, but it's always quite short lived. And mortar there in a decent position. See, look at that mortar. It's really taking a long time to even kill one guy. It's really only good for killing mass infantry to get unlucky. So that's, that was a grenade that killed him, not the mortar, by the way. So you can see, like three or four shots didn't even kill one guy. 
this is why the mortar is very inefficient and slow but oh that proved me wrong just uh, say shut up strat i'm gonna hit my target this time and it's actually good when there's a whole clump of infantry charging like uh, before but here it comes this is good those buddy just running there grenade oh unfortunately not it's, but this MD is in a bad position, unfortunately, for Doug's body, he didn't get it. So going back to Brummel, infantry assaulting, just running there, I guess. Unless the flax repaired, as soon as the flax repaired, everything's gone. He's got a quick moment, this is good, this is good. See, look at that, just infantry charge in there, don't be scared. Oh, bad luck at the pipe, but here he goes, blow up, blow it, nice. So he's got it. See, look at, look at that, he just sent three guys there to just throw grenades and got it. But all this time, probably, what? 20 minutes of the game, the guys are just sitting back here. I mean, all he could have just ran down here, threw a grenade before. Um, very, very cautious play for new players. Remember, infantry is quite expendable, and infantry is meant to be used, not meant to be camped behind sandbags. That's probably the best advice I can give you. Um, don't be afraid to lose a few guys. They're, they are expendable. More to shooting around. So, guys, um, hopefully, you know, I get use out of this. I'm pretty tired of. of been casting and doing so many tutorials today. Um, so hopefully this sounds okay and you have learnt a bit, not turning a bit of a jumble. And hopefully once the community gets bigger, or if it does, I don't think it'll ever get that big, but hopefully it gets bigger than AS1 at least. Uh, there can be different leagues. Um, I've, I've hosted tournaments, but they're mainly for, I guess, veteran players. But hoping for you, the new players also to have some sort of, I guess, competitive league where you can learn off each other. Also, uh, for your new players, I recommend uh, you playing balanced games with uh, good players. That's pretty much, I think, the reason why the Australian community is very good at the game, because we always balance the games with a good player and new players and with the good players. So instead of getting beaten by by really good players all the time, you don't learn too much. But where the teams are slightly balanced, you do kind of learn from your uh, what your ally does. And it gives you a chance, basically, to to win. Uh, so over here we have uh, what do we have here? Conscript. So this is very cu curious that uh, the time this game is taking. Uh, it's very long, 31 minutes. I've never seen a one versus one last this long. <laughs> no offense. Um, this very cautious infantry play it seems both players, and I think Brummel's actually lacking the infantry. He doesn't seem to have infantry around here. But nice building infestation there. That's going to stop. Um, that's going to provide a good line of sight there. And again, an AT gun unguarded. Interesting. So really, if not no infantry in the front. Infantry should always be in the front of anything in placement. So, wow, what the hell is that? Did he just explode his own guy? I think that's dead. Um, so center is not being capped by anyone. Just not enough infantry swarms. Is like. One infantry there, one infantry there. There should be a whole squad just swarming in there, getting it, holding it. Same with Brummel, coming a whole swamp. So, uh, really, I'm seeing uh, the biggest mistake here is infantry being too cautious. Infantry at the back, not enough infantry to hold a big pushing weight. Um, not, no infantry in front of emplacements and in front of tanks. And obviously, tanks being used in a rather silly way. Um, right. Good point here though, pressuring. Sniper here on its own as well with no infantry. See, you see I had one squad here. Even though, well, it's lucky there. It could have been in danger. <clears throat> Snipers should be in cover or at least having some infantry around them. An SMG guy at least to stop a charge at it. Because that sniper is a valuable unit there. But at this stage of the game, it's a bit of a jumble. As you can see, when you play a long game and you don't pressure, it's hard to count how much MP the enemy has or what you have. I like to pressure for lots of reasons, and one of the reasons is you can card count, because you know how much you've lost, and when you don't bank, you spend, keep spending non-stop, you kind of know how much MP the enemy has and how much you have. That's one of the minor bonuses, I guess. But Dog's body is managing to capture the center amidst nothing around here actually gonna can hold it. See, Rummel can just run in here with two guys and capture it. Um, which he is capturing now. And Brummel has got this. Oh, nice one here. Very nice attack here. Um, this MG has been unmanned for the whole game. Should definitely go in there. And over here. Ah, uh, this is good. So, 
There it goes. Sniper's down. Not enough support. Loot coming down here. Interesting. And this AT gun should have been manned too. So a lot of emplacements that have been missed. You can see on the map a tip, guys. See, it's yellow. It's uh, white there. That means you can actually get into it still. This one too. This mortar as well. Um, there's something else over here that can get crewed. Uh, there. Over here is something else as well. What's over here? I can't see what's there. What is that? Something is over here. Behind these bushes. Must be an MG or something. Um, sorry. Um, so it looks like Brummel has got this game. I'd say... Hmm. It's, it's very slow to cast. Um... Yeah, let me know what you think of, uh, I guess, this, if you want to see more of this. This is basically a test to see if it's any use for new players to watch other new players play, to see mistakes new players make. And... There it goes. So anyway, um... Oh, shot. I guess it's inevitable now. Congratulations. Oh no, maybe not. This is going to cap, cap this back, but Luke is coming down here. Anyway guys, I've really got to go. Um, did this as a favor. My uh, wife has been calling me for a long time and I'll be uh, definitely be nagged upon <laughs> all night now for doing this. So. I better go now, guys. So, enjoy. Uh, please like to support. And, um, yeah, just put in the comments if you want to see more. So, GG, guys. GG, Bramel and uh, General Dogs, buddy.